Recently, I was having a conversation with a human resources executive who had recently left her role running diversity and inclusion for a Fortune 500 company. She was starting her own consultancy practice and wanted to establish herself as a thought leader. She was asking me about advice on how to publish a book because she wanted to use being an author as a way to establish that thought leadership. But here's the thing, being an author doesn't necessarily make you a thought leader. And that's when I had this epiphany. You're a thought leader when your ideas are in demand. So if any of you out there want to become a thought leader by becoming an author, I highly encourage you to drop the ball. <laughs> this is because books don't sell very many copies these days. And writing and marketing a book requires so much time, usually an investment of a couple of years. There are two other ways to establish yourself as a thought leader that require a lot less time and money and that actually could bring you a bigger audience. The first is to pen and publish articles around your area of expertise. You know that this strategy is working when you start publishing on established news sites that are providing you some editorial overview and therefore lending their credibility and their brand to you. This also works, well you certainly know it's working, if you're posting on LinkedIn or Medium or some kind of open platform and your articles are being shared a lot. The second way to establish your thought leadership is to offer yourself as a public speaker. You'll know that this strategy is working when you frequently receive requests to be on panels or to give keynotes or talks. And obviously, you should work on building your social following, but don't confuse a sensational tweet with actual insights. Remember, you're a thought leader when your ideas are in demand. Thank you so much for watching. For more Tiffany's epiphanies that come straight to you, just sign up at tiffanydufu.com.